All right, today I'm going to discuss with you how to rig up a kayak for trolling for salmon on Lake Michigan. The way I set up my kayak is I got to run two rod holders, one on the left, one on the right, and one off the back. Things to consider when setting up your rod holders is the uh, amount of space you're going to need up in front of you. I'm in uh, autopilot, so I don't really have anything that's going to get in my way when I set out my rods. Um, if you're in a pedal drive, you'd want higher up positions for your for your rods, or if you're paddling, they need to be a little further out for you so you don't hit them with your paddle. Um, I prefer to keep mine in a horizontal position. I can lock them in, it's out of my way, but plenty of room to grab a rod. Fish bites, if I can grab it, take it out, I'm ready to go. The extensions that come with rod holders, you gotta get that dialed in a little bit. This one's shorter, I don't need a tall one on this side. But over here, in order to see my hummingbird helix, I needed to bump this up a little bit, so I put a little extension on here so I can see it. So you gotta customize it to make it comfortable for yourself when you're out there fishing. Um, it's nice to have a conventional reel with a line counter. Uh, I have on here braid to leader, 20 pound test line on there. I can run any kind of crankbaits or spoons or anything like that on there. Simple way of presenting a lure to a fish without having to have any kind of downriggers, dipsies, and all these other things that are a little more complicated. When you're trolling for salmon, you don't have to have three rods set up. It's a, you can do one rod and that's just fine. It's easier to handle. I usually will run two rods if the bite is especially heavy. If I'm not getting much and things are slow, I'll run a third one off the back. My typical setup is running two flat lines, which means just the crankbait itself and line out. And then behind me, I'll put out a line that has, I'll attach a weight to it. This is just a, on a snap weight. So I'll let some line out, maybe 30 feet, put the snap weight on there drop it down, use my line counter to know how far down it's getting to help get to a better depth. And uh, that way this one's down below, out of the way, and I have two high lines. That way they don't get tangled up as much. And if I get a bite on any one of these, you want it to be easily accessed so you can get a hold of it, reel it in. Also, if you need, to, you're gonna have to get this out of the rod holder. If it's too far back, you're not gonna be able to reach it when there's a fish pulling on there. So you wanna be in a comfortable distance back for you. Electronics on your kayak for fall fishing, if you're near harbors, it's not really crucial. However, if you plan on doing any kind of consistent fishing on Lake Michigan, it's a great tool to have. My fish finder setup, is I have a Hummingbird Helix 5. It's a smaller unit and it works just fine for me for what I need it for. It has side imaging, down imaging. My main concern for me out on Lake Michigan is generally my speed and also being able to uh, mark my locations where I'm getting bit. Um, the other thing that's going to help you with uh, fish finder is going to be able to find your thermocline. In the summertime, finding a thermocline where the cold water sits is where the salmon will be holding. And with the, uh, adjusting your electronics, you'll be able to find that. When we're fishing for king salmon and you hook into one, we're going to have to land it. There's, this isn't a time and a place to try to grab one by the jaw. They're big fish, they're hard to get a hold of, they're pretty slippery. So you definitely want to get yourself a net, and not a small net. You want to get yourself a large net with a large hoop because when these fish are coming in they have treble hooks in their face and you, the bigger the hoop easier it is to get that fish into the net. And that brings me to another point of when you do hook into a fish you got to let these fish run because they're powerful, they're strong, you're not going to stop them. They'll break you off if you try to. You want to play until they get tired, until they belly up on their sides. Once they get tired and they're up on their side and you got time, they're hooked up, they're not going to go anywhere more than likely. I draw them back like this, slide them into the net head first, raise up on them, and you got them. Once you catch a fish, you're gonna to need to put them somewhere. You can either do a stringer, or what I prefer is to put them in a bag, an insulated bag in the back. I put ice in there in the morning. It keeps them cold and fresh. And these are just a few ways that I like to rig up my kayak to fish for salmon on Lake Michigan.